Okay, Schaefer, come on up. Let's go. Okay, this is Schaefer Cox. I'm going to let him introduce himself, okay? He does a better job of that. Here you go. Let's all stand up and stretch a little bit because I'm going to go for a long time. <laughs> I was going to say stand up while you're clapping, but, you know, thought better of it. Okay, thanks. Where's Dean Porter? Oh, no. Let me see if I can open this. TSA might have messed it up, you know. I, I told him I wouldn't unlock this the last time I went through security. And they said, uh, why not? And I thought, oh, shoot, my Constitution's in there. <laughs> so, I, so I had to open it up to show them why not. Um, anyway, you know, we're going to hell in a freight train, you know. But uh, it's okay to laugh about it a little bit here and there. Um, and I want to talk about that for a second. Um, be real frank. Be real frank about that. I know why you guys are here. Okay. I know why you're here. And you know what? I've been traveling all over the country, and Alaska is my favorite place. We a lot of people there show up, but but, I, but we're all here for the same reason. It's because we know in our gut that something is horribly wrong. You don't have to be told. Nobody told you that something was wrong. You know because you have a, a heart and a spirit and a mind that's perceptive to those, those things. And you got a sense and you know when something bad is going on. And I don't know about you, but let me, but, but, well, I think I do know about you, but I'm going to tell you how I feel anyway. The way that I feel when I look around at this current debacle that we have and that's been building for years and years is I feel like there's just this huge power out there that's just, just uncomprehensible even to think about uh, influencing it, let alone stopping it. And all I want is just to be free and to respect other people and have them respect me and to be protected by the law and do what I want, you know, and, and have freedom. That's all, I, that's all I want. And I don't know how to argue that from all the nitty gritty statutes and everything like that. And I don't understand all the ins and outs of this giant monster that's coming our way and, and bulldozing over, over our freedom. But I, but I feel in my, in my gut, a resentment, and I think that you identify with this, that, that you shouldn't have to understand all that stuff. You shouldn't have to understand all that stuff. And that our rights are rights, and we shouldn't have to buy our rights with hassle. We, we shouldn't have to, to, you know, combat this giant monster with all this specialized knowledge and all this money and 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 you know, win and get our rights. You know, you hear about this these guys that fought the IRS or fought the ATF or anything like this, and they're like, yeah, I beat them. It took me 30 years and $17,000. And you're like, that sounds like a prison sentence. 30 years and $17,000. You know, who's the, who, who's the real winner here? You know, they got you. They just got you the other way. You know, you might have won, but you were dead right. That just makes me sick. And it makes a lot of people sick. And we know that our nation, you know, we, we, we feel that it's, it's getting wobbly and it's, it's, it's worrying us. We see this looming power. We see these videos like we saw today that they can just lock you up for any reason without any, without, without a phone call or n nothing. You just disappear. And so we show up here. Why? Because we don't know what else to do. And what we get told so many times that feels like you got kicked in the teeth with a government issued boot is all you can do is you can beg the tyrant to change. You can commit your life to a long, slow drudge uphill to try to reform this monster. 
And your, your heart just sinks. You're like, oh, gosh, is that really the, co- the, the price of, of, of freedom? Is that our only chance is to try to make a, you know, go to Washington? What if I ran for office and I got elected and I could go there to Washington where I can't have a gun and try to be a good influence on tyranny? You know, and people and people think, oh, I just, you know, it just makes your heart sink. And we come to these meetings and we leave here with this list that brrr, goes down to the floor of things that you can do, you know, and, and well, you can you keep keep begging them and you can keep kissing the ring and maybe they'll hear you if there's enough of us. Well, you know what? That doesn't really resonate with my spirit. And I can't really come out and say there's anything wrong with that stuff. But I tell you what, it doesn't make me jump out of my chair either. And I want to tell you, I just am really excited to tell you some pretty unconventional but pretty cool stuff that we've been pioneering in Alaska. Actually, you know what? We're not pioneering it because people for, throughout all of human history have done this. But we're, we're pioneering it in human memory. There's nobody alive who really remembers this, at least not in this country. And I can't wait to get to that. But first, I want to hit a couple of points about this this giant monster that we're trying to to reform, okay? I want to explain how it works and how they got us. So I'm young, I got good eyes, I can read my notes down there. <laughs> All right. The first thing that we're up against that we've got to understand, we've got to understand our enemy. And you got to, you know, be honest about who your enemy is. And that is anyone who would take away from us the freedoms that God gave us. Anybody who, when you ask them what their authority is, their only answer is because I said so is tyranny. And that's our enemy. We've got to recognize that. Now, that puts a lot of people in our enemy category. But you know what? That's OK. Let's first talk about the money situation. This is how this is the main tool of tyranny. And this all comes down to legal theory, which I'm really excited to talk about, because that's how we got so far off base in this country. All right. So that's what really allowed the the monetary debacle to be here. But but we got to understand the monetary debacle because it's the main tool. It really is the 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 teeth of the beast. Here's how it works. All right. The Federal Reserve, which is not federal or reserve. It's just a it's just like a, a cooperative of of private banks that are named after their best customer. Okay. They are allowed to print up money out of thin air, just print up trillions of dollars out of thin air and loan that to the government, to the federal government with interest. That's a pretty good gig for them. You know, they print up dollars, thin air, loan it to them at interest. We pay the interest. That's what our income tax is for, which was passed at the same time, 1913. On Christmas Eve, there wasn't, uh, there's a question even whether there was a proper quorum. But it was really shifty and they kind of duped Woodrow Wilson into it because he was dupable and uh, they got it passed. Now, here's why that's so bad. You know, you might say, well, what's what's wrong with them printing up money out of, out of nowhere? Well, here's how it works. OK, dollars respond to the law of supply and demand, just like everything else does. When the number of dollars in existence goes up, the value of each one of those dollars goes down. Now, the value lost by the dollars that you held or the retirement that was in a fixed dollar amount that you're counting on or whatever, the value lost by your dollars is value transferred to whoever printed the new dollars, whether they're a counterfeiter or a federal government. That's why the Constitution says that no state shall make anything but gold and silver coin a tender in payment of debts. That is brilliant. You know why? Because you can't churn out gold and silver coins on a printing press. We would be better off even if they just actually printed them. They don't even actually print them now. They just email them. They just they just hold down that zero key until they've got enough money, and then they just send it off. And 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 the, the, enough value has to be robbed from our dollars that we worked hard for, 